I'd like to stay and ask a few questions. First of all, are you satisfied with the conditions of schools today? Are you satisfied that your income has allowed you to keep up with the standard of living you had for a long time? No. You think that the Republicans are doing what you need to help you in Congress? Do you think the Democrats are doing what you need to help you in Congress? Do you think it's time for a change in leadership? Okay, go vote. Go vote. Well, okay, so in the end, I guess the way we change things is that we have to vote. Okay. That's a good idea. All right, um, I actually didn't come to talk, but... Uh, how's it? Um, first of all, we need to be aware of what's called the world debt war. That's when the amount of government uh, borrowing exceeds what uh, the public wants to loan. We should have hit that wall somewhere um, just prior to the next election, maybe a little bit after uh, we get quantitative easing free. Once we hit that wall, the interest on our current debt, which is about 3%, will start to rise. Now at 3%, that's $15 trillion, that's $450 billion. How many remember that Congress could not take $400, $400 billion worth of uh, cuts this last year. Yeah. Okay, so we're talking about $50 billion more to, uh, that Congress, uh, more than what Congress would cut. Italy right now is at 6%. That is more than Congress has been willing to cut. And if the United States goes down that path, we are looking at major cuts that nobody in Congress is ready to do. Now, Mr. Obama doesn't have a budget. So if he doesn't have a budget now, what's he going to do when he's forced to either pay the debt or stop borrowing altogether? And he's borrowing 43% of our budget, of our total spending. So the lady over here says, well, let's keep Social Security. Amen. Good idea. Where is she going to get the money from? Nobody wants to lend it. Amen. The says, cut the military. Great idea. Where is she going to get the money from? Nobody wants to lend it. What you're looking at in this election is, what you're looking at in this election is somebody who needs to know how to balance the budget how to have a budget in the first place, how to balance it, and then how to actually produce uh, some kind of government with what's left over. And at the moment, we're at 43% uh, borrowing, and President Obama has not had a budget since Bush left, since he ended with the Bush budget in 2009. What? Congress makes the budget. Right, yes. The House of the Republicans at the, in the House passed the budget. The Democrats in the Senate refused to pass a budget. And when the, when the Democrats had control of both the House and the Senate, they refused to pass a budget. There's at no point can you say, oh, it's the Republicans' fault. Absolutely false. No, it's absolutely true. Absolutely true. Okay, so we have a problem. And, and the problem obviously isn't being fixed by Bush, who is borrowing billions of dollars a day from China to fight a war. And the problem is not being fixed by Obama, who's not playing the game the way that we thought he was going to play the game. The people that voted for him thought he was going to play the game. So we got a problem on both sides. I think we both realize that now. So I think that comes back full time now to what the Occupy movement's about. And the Occupy yeah. movement is about both parties being corrupted. Exactly. It's about both parties having a problem. If we can't get one of those two parties to play fair with us, then we'll have to vote a different party in. Or we'll have to create a new party from nothing. And it's not going to happen by progressives. It's not going to happen by Occupy. It's not going to happen by the Tea Party. It's going to happen when we all come together to make this happen. We, we have to work together to get solutions. We can't keep fighting amongst ourselves because that's what they want us to do. The two-party system that the media promotes 
is there to divide and conquer. And that's what they're doing. They're dividing us and conquering us. We have to stop playing into this two-party system now. Who wants to speak next? Hey, uh, hey, Sean? Yes. Is there somebody here from the Tea Party? There was.